Hey everyone, Joel here with Dissecting DIY, and today we're going to go over the Ego Snow Shovel. So this is a little uh, snow blower that's hooked on to the, um, the handle that uh, basically runs your weed whacker. It's interchangeable. It comes with a 2.5 AH battery, and today we're dealing with about 4 inches, 4 to 5 inches of heavy wet snow. I've kind of compacted it with my feet here. So we're going to take a look at how well it does and go from there. Uh, we All right, so I'm trying to do this first time use, just showing you the problems you can run into. As you can see, I've had issues with making sure it was connected right. Um, it takes a little bit out of you, I'll be honest. Um, it, it goes pretty well. This is really wet, heavy snow, four inches, and it's doing quite well. Um, towards the end, it does get mucked up. And you're gonna to want to start it before you hit any snow, just probably like any snow blower. But it does well. I was able to do a car length. I was able to do a car length and a pathway. You can see I still have four bars left. So I'm gonna be able to do the walkways, front and back, on a 2.5 AH battery. And I've already done all this. So battery life looks good. I'm gonna bring out the big boy, the 2400. We're going to finish this up. I'll do the walkways front and back and we'll take a look at that.
So two bars after a front walkway, a whole parking space, and cleaning up the end of the driveway. Not bad. I can probably do my back walkway with this. So pretty decent battery life for 2.5. Um, some things you want to know. It, <laughs> there are some instances where you should just grab a shovel. So I wanted to see if I get in tight spaces. I could get close to the truck. I did that just fine. Um, if you're going back and forth with it, it can be a little labor intensive, but if you can get it on a good rip where it just goes, you can get behind it, put your weight behind it, um, your elevation. So that is going to get caught more than this. But of course, this more upright is going to collect more snow. Um, it did my walkway pretty well. I got caught up on a couple of the uneven walkway pieces, but that's all right. I do that with a shovel. Uh, in tight spaces, you saw that I was able to get the stairs, but I'd have to come back in for cleanup. Um, so not too, too bad. But again, don't skip the gym <laughs> if you're going to use this thing. Uh, you know, the, I, I went a little balls to the wall. I just wanted to see what it could do. I wanted to just rip through this. And, uh, you know, it, it did pretty well. It, this is only four inches of heavy, wet snow. So if it, you get any more than that, I think this thing might have a little bit of trouble. Uh, if it's light fluffy snow, this thing will rip right through it. Um, but the, the heavy wet snow, you know, you're gonna wanna get it started beforehand and then shut it down. Uh, sorry, uh, you, you're gonna wanna get it started beforehand and then you can go just rip uh, all the way down the line and then just shut it down, go back do the same line again. Um, you know, you're gonna get, if you're not careful, you gotta watch what you're doing because you'll recover parts that you just cleared. So a little uh, frustrating, but that's my fault, not the, not the ego's uh, little sh snow shovel fault. It does really well. A couple of things here. Uh, you'll notice at the beginning I had trouble. I didn't think this was gonna work with the snow. I just didn't clip this in. So you're gonna see there's a clip here and a way to tighten it. You're gonna wanna hear that click and then once it's clicked in, the front auger should be engaged. So I'm Joel with Dissecting DIY. This is the Ego Snow Shovel.